It's long. Good morning. It's day four. We survived the night. How just you sleep? Really? <laughs> from her penthouse suite to snuggle with mama. All right, middle of the redwood forest. And it's we're a having snuggle a fest. snuggle fest. And layers and layers of down. That's the way we roll. Mm. Rex is helping me make coffee. coffee. <clears throat> so Rex threw his frisbee up there. <laughs> Problem is, inside the redwood, it's a crater. And I can't reach it. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Wax is coming nature. What is what? Starting the day with a morning hike. Because, you know, you can. It's nine to five six. That yeah. one. Yeah. Um, Mom, look at it. It's Jordy. It's Jordy's up. I realize that, but it's really narrow. Will you please get off that? It's making Mommy very nervous. How cool this is. Hey, where are you going, Rex? I'm going on the secret stairs. I don't want Belle to come with us. I know, but Belle's in a mood. Mm -hmm. I know. Sometimes we just have to take a time out. Bell's in the mix again. Oh, we're going up the hill. Oh, that's scary. Okay, just makes me nervous. Careful over the rope. Oh, I have no idea. It's kind of sketches me out. There's quite a little trail. So it's quite ingenious. No. Not necessarily real clean, but ingenious. And look at that tree it's under. That hole drip down the dirty water onto that hole and then go down into there. Okay, so there's our camper van down there. And here are my two intrepid hikers and campers. If you don't go. Do we have a fuel leak? Hmm. What do you think's happening? Uh, I smell fuel. I might have a fuel leak, which is not good in a van again. Um, but we're going to get down the hill to civilization. And then assess? Yeah. Can we get down the hill? Yes, we'll take it. We're four miles in the wilderness. Okay, here we go. Crossed. We're leaving our campsite. I mean, look at that stump. It's as big as Oscar. Oh, I mean, it's really interesting all the giant stumps. It's like they cherry picked all the massive trees and chopped them down. Go, Oscar, go. Go, Oscar, go. I am going to be a lot happier when we're back on Highway 1. Not really civilization, but not four miles from home. We're out of the redwood forest and into sunshine. Feeling a little better about this. Are you? Like, I feel like we could easily walk out now. Amazing how dark. 
dark. It is. Mm. The Ewok forest. <laughs> in the Redwood Ewok forest. And it's sunny and bright out here. Hallelujah, guys! The highway is right ahead. Dad, we survived. We weren't killed by axe murderers. And Oscar made it in and out. Yay, okay, Oscar! What's going on, Dad? Fuel leak. That's not good. It was a trip stopper. Okay, so what's happening? We have a fuel leak, which is like just don't mess around with the van again with the fuel leak. So we are going to eat look, breakfast. Eat breakfast at a nice resort that happened to be. Look where the closest repair shop is. Maybe tow Oscar to a repair shop and stay at a cabin. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? Okay, so the one shop was closed till the six, but I called Dave at Peninsula Automotive, uh -huh. and he is 24 miles south. Okay. Uh, made him aware of the situation, and he said, "Bring it on." Are we gonna tow it or are we gonna drive it? That's the question. I was gonna call Triple A, but he said it's not a good idea to continue your trip with that. Okay, so do you want to just tow it? Let's tow it. So we, we're a family of four. Hey guys, so we might be playing here for the day. You okay with that? Mark is working on getting a tow for Oscar. <laughs> but we managed to make it to this lovely lodge, cabin, camp, resort. Anyway, so we have Wi-Fi, so we can call for help. And the kids are having fun. Okay, so here's the plan. Yeah. Triple A is coming to pick up Oscar and tow him on a flatbed. Yep. To a really nice repair shop. It's going to help. It's a automotive. It's going to hopefully help repair the leaking fuel line. Dad, while he's there, he's going to ride with the tow truck. Mm -hmm. You're going to then rent a car, wherever that is, 40 miles from here. Huh? You're going to drive back and pick us up yep. in your enterprise. Yep. And then by the time we get back to the auto repair shop, we hope that Oscar will be fixed. Maybe, maybe not. They may say it might be tomorrow by noon. I would think that would be my prediction. So we would stay here. Like Volkswagen. <laughs> there goes Oscar. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, there, there goes Dad at our home. Okay, so we're making the most <laughs> of our hour being stranded at this campsite, resort, whatever. <laughs> Wonderful, lovely, accommodating places. repair shop and he's renting a car and he should be back to pick us up in two hours so we're just gonna enjoy this gorgeous piece of land I mean if you're gonna be stranded it's a good place to be stranded right Make it to our campsite by the river tonight. Well, 
Yeah, but could we do it tomorrow? I feel like we're stranded in the desert. Woo! Any old way to kill some time while we're stranded. Oh, good job, Rex. <laughs> Living his best life all by himself. <laughs> oh, good googly muggly. Oh, hi, it's you again. <laughs> I've been hanging out in Santa Cruz. We are together again. Mark has come to rescue us. We're heading back south, yep. and hopefully, Oscar will be repaired. Mm -hmm. And what was the verdict with Oscar? Definitely a leaky fuel line, but of course it didn't leak when I brought it to him, but just playing it safe, we're going to get it fixed and the one next one. Oh, we're getting a couple fuel lines fixed? Well, <laughs> he's already there. Gotcha. He said that when it's cold, things shrink, and so it was more likely to leak when it was cold when we were up in the forest, and then when it got down to him, it was warm. Yes. Better safe than sorry, because a leaky fuel line could explode. Does it explode or does it just catch your engine on fire? It just slowly catches on fire. That's why I have a fire suppression system. Oh, well you didn't tell me that. I would have been more game to drive it. <laughs> Oscar's been fixed. We're working with a six, seven hour delay on the day, but we're gonna carry on. Look at all these fans. We're back in Oscar. You can't keep Oscar down. <laughs> We've got 70 miles to go yep. and about seven minutes of daylight left. <laughs> so it's not going to be as picturesque as we hoped. But we're back on track! Sunset Beach. There you go. Oh, Sunset Beach. The sunset. Yeah. I'm missing this insanely good sunset. But we're on the road again. Yeah? On the road. Stop for gas, and now Dad says we're leaking something else out the back. Never again. <laughs> What's going on? We're just gonna keep going. Mom, what are we leaking out? I don't know. We'll find out. What do you think we're leaking? Coolant. And what does that mean? That keeps the engine cool, but the temperature has been fine. Do we have extra coolant? Yeah. Can you replace coolant on the road? Yeah, but we've had no problem with coolant, so I don't know why it's doing that.
Hallelujah. Hi guys. That was a long day. Oh. Um, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> what did you say? Have you it have broken me. It have you got, got it out of my system. <laughs> we will have done this trip, and then we will just do a little local trip. It was the it was it was the Big Sur curvy roads, which is like my own personal nightmare at at, at night. <gasps> yep, but we're here. Oh, the stress sweat. Oscar did great. Oscar did great. Next. That was terrible. So we made it to camp. I just took a shower, coldest shower of my life. It's hot water, but basically outside. Do you want to take a shower, Belle? No, thank you. We're going to take a shower. Um, I can see your breath. Okay. okay I have to do it's it. all worth it now. I love you so much. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm wife of the year for this one. <laughs> it means daddy better really love me for doing this. And next vacation is at a resort with a spa. <laughs> okay, the kids are watching a movie. Yes. We're snuggled in the downstairs bed. Um Okay, so today was an adventure. The van breaking down, not a problem. The driving on Highway 1 at night with cliffs on the side was my worst nightmare. <laughs> well, you were very brave and didn't show your feet. I was terrified, thought I was going to throw up. My heart was pounding. <laughs> I literally wanted to start crying, but I was trying to be strong for the kids. It was awful. You didn't show them awful. at all. It has literally been my recurring nightmare since I was like four. I told you I had this, and we're here. And we're doing that again. Ever. Well, we got to do it all day tomorrow. Okay, but think, it'll be daytime. I think daytime's better, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Perhaps this was poor planning on my part. Oh my it gosh. was aggressive. <laughs> okay, but we made it here? Yes. I mean, Given the circumstances, it was all pretty perfect. We would totally win Amazing Race. I was thinking that the whole time. <laughs> we were looking for the ATM. Left, go, <laughs> go right. There's the ATM. Wait, Get how it. am I doing navigating? I mean, you, it's like a full-time job. Amazing, and you're also doing amazing putting up with this craziness. <laughs> well, it is nutty, but it's fun. And, yeah, and do, do you know the best part about it is? What? We made it out of the woods. I don't That's really true. think we should ever be four miles up in the woods ever again. In Oscar. Or anything. That was the very best isolated. part is we're still talking. We've been married forever. <laughs> As a family. So <laughs> we've got that. I think you hit a low point today. When we pulled in and I was exhausted from and, driving. And you, you and talk, I had to you peel talked about each <laughs> finger off of the steering wheel. About <laughs> selling Oscar. It was a moment of weakness. I apologize. Oscar said, No! I mean, Do not tell me I'm feeling a little verklempt. I will be that very in good. Oscar. I will not. No, don't take me to the slaughterhouse. No. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep you, Oscar. I take it back. Gary's doing a great job. He's going to get us home. Yes. What else does he have to say? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Any final thoughts? Mm, technically, we didn't break down. I was being cautious. We were just leaking fuel all over the manifold and the engine could have exploded and the engine is located well, directly directly underneath where our children are sitting. But we didn't break down. It was a preventive care. And we didn't explode. Nope. So we got that going. I'd like to give a shout out to the Costanoa Resort. Mm -hmm. D and K Volkswagen Repair. Dave, you're the man. Dave was great. The Thank tow you. truck man, the Enterprise people. It's all oh, perfect. I know. It was part of the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to go better. Hashtag oh. van life. <laughs> <laughs> this is van life. Oh my gosh. I like cushier life, honey. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow, mm -hmm. we only have to go like 75 miles. We're driving the rest of Big Sur in the daylight. 
Go and then we're going you. to That's like five see hours the of driving. <laughs> we're going to see the elephant seals, which I'm very excited about. Oh. And then we're going to stay in a hotel. 